Hello everyone, my name is Dwayne McAllister. I'm joined today by co-head of NISPOL Group, uh, Lyle Fitter, and a senior portfolio manager, Eric Schleicher. And we're here today to talk a little bit about the market volatility that we've experienced in the, in the municipal market uh, so far in 2022. So um, guys, I think we expected rates to rise this year, but we wouldn't have predicted it to go up as much as it has. Uh, we put out a piece in uh, early January where we talked about uh, comparing 2022 to 2021. Last year we looked back and said, you know, it was relatively simple with the market. If you got credit right, you got most of the uh, uh, outperformance that way. This year we knew it was going to be more complicated, uh, so we compared last year to playing uh, checkers, this year to playing chess. So Lyle, we both have been through a lot of economic and market cycles, so any thoughts uh, you have comparing last year to this year? Sure. Coming into 2021, valuations in the muni market uh, look cheap. Uh, both from a credit perspective relative to corporates and also relative to uh, Treasury securities. Uh, at the same time, you had unprecedented uh, federal support. You had sharply rising tax revenues due to the strong economic recovery. The flip side technicals were very strong, record mutual fund flows. So when you looked at uh, munis, if you got credit and you got curve right last year, which fortunately we were on the right side of, um, it, it turned out to be a, a easy year, a relatively easy year to outperform, kind of like checkers. Coming into this year, if you look at valuations, uh, again, both on a credit and a, a ratio perspective, not as many opportunities. We knew this year that volatility would probably pick up, so we're gonna have to be a lot more nimble. Again, kind of like you said, more like a chess game. As a resident chess player on the team, I would agree. A key to winning at chess is using strategy and tactics to achieve your goal. Understanding the value of each piece is also very important. They each have different value and they move differently. Kind of like managing a municipal bond portfolio, there's many key decisions to make. Mm -hmm. Curve positioning, credit weighting, sector allocation, security selection, and trading. And once you figure out how to move those pieces together in a strategic manner, you win more chess games and beat the benchmark more often. And I think that's one of the, been one of the keys to our consistency over time is not being over-reliant on one particular decision like credit. Instead, looking at the things you mentioned, the credit, um, curve, security structure, all of those things. So it's what it, how you put those together in a strategic manner that really makes a difference. It's always good to give people an example. You know, If you look at uh, the difference between cash and cash alternatives coming into this year uh, relative to two-year notes, that difference was roughly 20 basis points. Today, it's closer to 90 basis points. So last year, we were underweight that two to five year part of the curve. Uh, one of the reasons was you didn't give up a lot of income to do that. Fast forward to today and uh, we're moving out and we're adding exposure to the two to five year part of the yield curve, filling in that underweight and hopefully setting up ourselves to add some uh, excess performance. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I, I think that none of us know what's going to happen with inflation. That's the great uncertainty this year. But what we do know is what you mentioned, municipal rates are higher, quite a bit higher than a year ago and muni valuations relative to taxables are much better. So I like our chances going forward. Well, I haven't been through as many market cycles as you two old timers. I do think this is a great time to capture some of the market inefficiencies we're seeing right now, especially in some of the various security structures that are available. There's different call and coupon features. There's fixed and floating rate considerations. There's cash flow variability in the housing sector. I think all of these reasons are part of why we've been off to such a great start this year. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks for your thoughts, uh, and thank you for watching today. We hope to have uh, the ability to share our thoughts with you in the future. Uh, and in the meantime, happy investing to all of you.